Hey everybody, welcome back to JDM World. Today, we're gonna to look at how to configure a high pass filter at 20 Hertz on a mini DSP 2x4 HD. The reason that you would set this kind of crossover is that for a ported subwoofer, kind of like this uh, full Marty that I'm sitting on right now, as your subwoofer starts to play below the tuning of the box, the uh, movement of the cone gets a little wacky. So you want to roll off that very, very low end below your tuning so that you don't damage your woofer when you decide to uh, really crank this thing up. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and cable up the laptop that you see here, and I'll get that software going and show you how to do the setting. The first thing you need to do is open up your mini DSP software. Once you have that going, it'll look something like this. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you connect your USB cable out to your mini DSP, and then all you need to do is click on connect. It's gonna connect to the system. I found a device and life is good. And while you're connected, any change you make will automatically be written out to your mini DSP. Now I've already got a configuration set uh, on mine, but I'm gonna talk about this a little bit for yours um, just, just in case, right? So you can store four configs, and you see those across the, the top here, right? Um, and then this is the routing. So this, uh, this shows which input on your mini DSP, and you have two inputs, <coughs> goes to which output. So that's the uh, two by four piece, right? Two inputs by four outputs, and you can see that as input one, input two, and then your outputs one, two, three, and four. In my environment, I have one SIL sub, and I have a, uh, on, on one output, and then the second output has the ported sub. So as you can look you s and see, input one here is connected to output one, right, with uh, zero dB uh, changes in volume. And then input two um, is routing to outputs two, three, and four. Um, now I don't use outputs three and four, so you could just click here and turn those off, um, uh, just as you could click here and turn it off and on as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as input one goes to output one and input two, or yeah, input two goes to output two. Over here on this side where you see your inputs, uh, if you actually had music playing, you would see these bouncing up and down. You can also make changes here to uh, parametric EQ, or you could just mute those all together if uh, you know, you're using this for some reason, have this up and you need to cancel out those, uh, those channels. The piece that we are really interested in is the output section. In the output section, this is where you'll be able to uh, specifically configure any of the four outputs, right? And remember, you've mapped an input to this output, and you could have uh, tweaked your P uh, PEQ on that side if you wanted to, but on this side is where you can set crossovers. Output two is the one that's connected to our subwoofer. So we're gonna go ahead and come over here to the X over button. We're gonna click this guy. And then this opens up uh, your bandpass output channel two, right, window. And as you can see, I already have a cutoff frequency of 18 hertz set for a, uh, a high pass filter here. All you need to do is you'll choose your frequency. We're gonna change this to 20. And then you need to change your filter type. And I'm using a Butterworth 12 decibels per octave roll off, uh, very simple crossover. You click that guy. And at this point, uh, you know, this is, this is all, all live. Um, this button will allow you to turn this on or off uh, if you want to leave the setting there but not use it. So if you bypass it, it you see how the line at the top here goes flat, uh, that is turned off. We're gonna turn it back on. And now you can see we're rolling off starting at 20 Hertz with a 12 decibels per octave slope. So we're gonna go ahead and close this window. And that then has everything applied into our crossover. As a little extra, um, I've got output one connected to my SIL sub, and some folks like to uh, add a little bump in uh, the lower frequencies on SILD uh, so they can keep up with their ported brothers or sisters. And the way that you would do this here is you go over to parametric EQ, and just say you needed a bump at, uh, I've already got this in here too, at 25 hertz, uh, and you wanted to bump this up uh, 6 dB. Well, you would come and you'd put those pieces in, and where it says bypass, you're gonna wanna unclick that, and then you see it will give you a, a, a bump in your curve here. If, uh, if you wanna add more, you can go to EQ2, and let's just say I really need some help at 20 hertz as well. 
and I need some six decibel action here. Leave the cue the same. And now you can see how it really starts to uh, massage that curve. And then you can always bypass these or leave them on. So I'm gonna bypass that, go back to this, bypass this as well. And remember, this is writing out live because we are connected to your mini DSP at this point. So that is how you can modify uh, both crossover and some uh, PEQ settings for your subs. And remember that uh, that high pass filter on your sub is very, very important to uh, preserve the life of this thing when you start hitting it with a lot of power and playing it low. Otherwise, you're just going to beat this voice coil up pretty hard. Thanks, everybody.